Hi, I'm Scott, and this is my dad. Hey. And, and today, we're going to do some home repair at his house on Dad It Yourself. <laughs> So the first project I have today is this patio umbrella that got cracked in a windstorm. Got this piece here, broken piece here, and a broken piece here. I'm going to use Type Bond 3, good for exterior, outdoor, waterproof, some clamps, and hopefully in 24 hours it'll be good as new. So let's get started on that. There it is all glued up and clamped with Type Bond 3. Cleaned all the squeeze out with a wet towel and we'll check that out in 24 hours. On to the next project. So here's the next project. This outlet that's out in his garden island here, as you see. Um, there's no more outlet on there. It has a buried cable down there and it goes to the house. I've already secured the power. We're going to go ahead and replace that so that he has power out here for Christmas lights or electrically powered lawn equipment for his lawn. Okay, let's get started on that. Okay, before I get started, just a quick reminder. When working with electricity, know what you're doing. If you don't, find someone who does or hire a licensed professional. Dad, 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 you're filming and you're in my shop. <laughs> well, I was going to say. Yeah. Well, that was a challenge to say the least to get that off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip this wire back, install it in this waterproof box with this waterproof cover with this GFI plug. Right, there it is. Dad had me turn it 90 degrees so he could reach it from the driveway. Open that up. Got ourselves a little green light there now. Had a little bit of a challenge that I did off camera. 
the wire that went under the driveway actually was disconnected at the other junction box on the other side because of the condition of the plug. So I had to go in there and reconnect that as well. This is my dad's house. Nice little lake house. Check it out. Lake right across the street. Pretty cool. So what he wants me to do now is down there, he has a single light fixture. He wants a motion light there. He wants me to take this light fixture out. So I'm going to pull the fixture. I'm going to put a uh, cover plate on it and tie off the wires. And then I'm going to move the fixture part down to here. Let's see if you can focus. There it is. With a new box. So he has two lights there when he's bringing the dog out here. And we'll get that done. So the biggest challenge I have, and let me walk over here. You're going to love this one. Is when they put the new roof and the soffit in, I don't know if you can see that, but they disconnected just the socket, drilled a hole through the soffit, and put the socket in. So the box is actually under the soffit. So I have to figure out a way to get another box mounted on there and then put the new um, motion light on there. Well, let's get started on that. Take a look at this one. Screws are completely rotted. Had to take a hammer to it to get this off and now this box is hanging out. I don't know if I can clear that box to put up the new box or if I have to buy a, an adapter plate squared around to do this. Well, let's take a look. Okay, well that's what I've got there. I was able to get the light fixture off and I've got about three inches of wires hanging down. I cannot get up in that soffit to get to the rest of the fixture so I'm going to put the box right over the top of that and tie into it that way and screw the box up through the soffit into the structure. Let's get started on that. So I'm going to use this security light from Home Depot, defiant motion sensor, up to 60 feet. has a function where you can turn it on and off, just like a regular light, and then it'll turn off on its regular timer. Three settings for timers, one minute, 10 minutes, and I think 45 minutes? It says it on here somewhere. Um, 29 bucks at the Home Depot, and there'll be a link down below to it. Let's get this installed.
So it's been a couple of days since I glued this up. Let's take these clamps and put it up. So here's the umbrella. There's the wood, all glued back up. And this guy said it wasn't gonna work. It works perfect. It looks good. It looks good. Had a great day doing a lot of little projects around the house today. A lot of challenges with corroded fixtures and old wiring, but we muddled through it. So my dad had quite the list for me, didn't you? Oh, I've had that list going on since the last time you were here last year repairing things. <laughs> Got uh, one more thing to go, the shower doors. The shower doors. I'll take a look at those tomorrow. This isn't the first thing I've fixed at his house, and I'm sure it won't be the last, especially when I'm back here next summer. Hey, if you see anything you want to make a comment on, put it down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and if you subscribe hit that bell for notifications right i've got some videos over here you may be interested in the subscribe buttons right down there thanks for watching dad it yourself <laughs>